Blade. Welcome back everybody, I am Sukaku, this is Final Fantasy A Realm Reborn. And we are going to continue our little quest here, we're going to talk to the Silent Conjurer here. Uh, you're a Lamentian envoy, begging your pardon sir, but I might have spit the miss of you bear. Uh, which one was this again? Uh, seats here. There you go. Verily, this is the seal of the Admiral of Lim Limsa Limsa. Please come with me. Okay, here we go. Hi there, I'm Sukaku. Oh, I know who you are. No, you don't. Oh yeah, no, I don't. Ah. Mm-hmm, I am. Much to you and yours. Yours what? Bokensha.メルビブ帝国によほど信頼されているのですね。I'll take my sweet time and get there. I forgot I had to tell. Morinomiyako,グリダニアへ。この国のグランドカンパニー、総社党の最高司令官。Twin Order. 当主のカヌエセンナです。the Order of the Twin Adder, our nation's grand company. Yeah. Is that you reading it, is it? No, she's never read it. Oh no, she's reading it. Oh look, no, you just decided you're not going to use your voice anymore. You got lazy or something? Remembrance service for the Fallen of Cartanel. Yes. To think five years has already come and gone. Indeed. It seems that only yesterday the Garlean Empire attempted to seize all that we hold dear. Rising in resistance, the city-states of Eorzea formed the grand companies and joined hands in alliance. But unbeknown to us, the Garleans sought not to best us in the battle, but moved instead to enact a terrible plot, the Meteor Project, by which the Lesser Moon Dalamund would be torn down from the heavens to annihilate all life below. In desperate bid to save a realm from certain destruction, our forces marched for the Cardinal Flats and there met the Vlith Imperial Legion. Damn straight, man. More bloody, more a bloody battle I have ever seen. I would never wish to see again, yet the carnage was but prelude to atrocity which followed. For despite our best efforts, Dalamund continued in its descent, and from it emerged the elder primal Bahamut, who proceeded to rain fire upon Eorzea. The Vlith Imperial Legion was consumed in the blinking of an eye, while our own forces fared little better. That any among us spared defies explanations, all seemed sure to perish. As the flames covered upon us, I prepare myself for death, only for a brilliant light to envelop me, relieving me of my senses. When at last I woke, Bahamut was gone, and the land which had been not moments before been aflame, now seemed to be the place unknown, not simply ruined, but changed. Archon Luciox, uh, Luciox, uh, may well have been able to shed light upon these mysteries, but he, like so many, have never returned from Cartana. My god, this is a long story. And we were left with the countless questions and no prospects of an answer, yet such matters did not occupy our thoughts, for we had graver concerns. The calamity of the devastation wrote Bahamut has come to be known laid our nation's night waste. And to this day we struggle to rebuild our lives and homes. To compound matters, the beast tribes continue to summon their primals while the empire enroaches upon our borders, consolidating its foothold in Eorzea. The outlook, in short, is bleak. In the wake of calamity, it has been all nation could do to nurse its own wounds. Yet if we are to wither the coming storm, we must needs stand unite once more. 
I remember the service may well present the opportunity to rekindle the spirit of the unity which first gave a rise to the Alliance. My god, keep going. I wholeheartedly approve of the Admiral's proposal and necessary provisions shall be made for a service here in Gridinia. Right, see you later. Ciao, take your time. Oh, she's not finished, is she? No, she's still going. And then? Oh, she's signing it. That's nice of you. Uh, oh, it's nice at the round table. Haha, <laughs> it's only got three seats. What are you giving it to him for? You have done the people of Eorzea a fine service day, and I would not put you to further trouble. As you see, my reply reaches Admiral the Anon. You, meanwhile, are bound for the next order, are you not? Indeed. Please send the Flame General my regards. Ah, and if you would be so kind, I should appreciate it if you could inform him that a pet of mine has been ill behave of late. My wolf. To be precise, needless to say, he must be brought to his heel. And uh, I would very much appreciate welcome the General's counsel on his, how this might be achieved. Okay. I thank you for coming. May the Twelve see you safe to all down beyond. Arigato gozaimasu. Sayonara, Mother Shaka. To all die I go. And this guy's gonna have a bit of a million things to say as well. Yay, I've done it! Right, let's go. Oh, wait a minute, can I use this? Oh, I can only get the amphitheater. But this'll, this'll uh, save me a little bit of journey. Awesome! Okay, so I'm here. Where am I going? Uh, I need to go back to New Grid. I need to turn left. This way. Yeah, that's the right way. Uh, we're going to head back to the airship. Take the airship and... Um, go talk to another dude for about half an hour. What now? Right. This way? Yeah. New Gardenia! Right, so to carry on, I need to register at this etherite, the main one. I could have saved myself some time by... There we go. Attuning. There we go. Never need to do that. Look at that. What the hell is that? Garuda Igi. Wow. Is that the name of the player, is it? I don't see anybody called Garuda Igi. No, it's Pijawaka or whatever. This dude here, or Dudette. What is it? It's a Dudette. Awesome. Right, anyway, carrying on. Let's go. Oh, this one's got like the uh, fiery thing. Oh, it's the same thing. Haha. Is that the same person? No, it's not. How come they can run so much faster than me? What the hell? Whoa, it's noisy in here. <laughs> Down we go! Oh, No, I don't want to go through the door, thanks. Right, Moogie. Here we go. Yep, it's me. Yeah. Oh, are you not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hey! Right. I am going this way. Am I? Ah, oh, goddammit. Oh, look at this. It's like a little way for it. Can't click it. Oh, it is a little way for it. It's an Ifrit Iggy. Awesome. 
I wonder, do you get that for killing Ifrit, or do you have to do something even more special than just kill him? Right, I want to go, waiting. Yeah, do you want to board the airship? Indeed I do. Alright, it's me again, let's go. It's like my personal taxi man, every the time it's just me. Du, du, du. Da, 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 da. The steps of Null and Older. All aboard! Or all off board! Or whatever! Da, 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 da. Right. Come on. Okay, so we are here. Need to go talk to this dude, but in order to get to him, I need to talk to a rival's attendant. Yes, I'm here. Thank you. Right, dude. Okay, welcome to all the Aldar, sir. This is, uh, we've been expecting you, Flame General. Yeah, okay, let's go. Where am I going again? This way? This way? Lift attendant? Looks like it, it's on the way out. So we've got lift attendants here as well. Uh, where am I going? I'm going to Husting Strip, thank you. Yep. Right, so, time to find this uh, quest. We need to turn right here. Aha! Hey, throw shard. Hopefully this will save me a bit of time. Oh, there's another one there. I need to go straight. Does that mean I need to go down here? Oh, shit. I can actually jump off that. That's a bonus. Uh, oh, look, I'm actually on the floor that I need to be on. Or am I? This thing's strip. Oh, well, I need to go back upstairs again, do I? Or is this actually taking me to a thing strip? Oh no, 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 this is taking me back upstairs again, isn't it? God damn it, I shouldn't have jumped off. <laughs> Where am I going? What? Right, hold on, there's a shard. So I'll attune to this. What the hell? It's like wearing Christmas stuff or something. Maybe it's down in there. Oh no, it's all the way around. I need to go all the way around. So we go up here, turn right. Say hi. Hi everyone, hi. Going up here. So it's even higher up. Laha baha. And... Alright. Okay. So that's where I was. But I actually need to be going up here. Crap, man. Look at you. Royal Promenade! Sinkaku has arrived! Please make way! Oh, that was nice. Uh, I presume you would, uh, get your yeah, uh, respective master bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, here. Here's your letter. Thanks. Alright, take me to the dude. ロミンソの使いという冒険者は貴様か。General of the Immortal Flames. Sate, you can't kick us at a moral. 
Uh, it sounded like that. Immortal Flames. Awesome. Bam. Bam. Uh, yep. Yeah. Cartoon. Aye, I remember the bloody Cartoon. Do you know what happened that day, Adventure, when we took the field against the Garleans? Yes, I've seen it. So my counterparts have educated you. Yes, indeed. If you just sign the papers, please. Hmm. Can's pet is giving her trouble, is it? Well, she, she should already know my mind on that subject. Wolves are beyond taming. Tis but a matter of time before they bare their teeth. So it was the Garleans 50 years ago. No sooner had they learned how to use magic tech, and they began seizing the territory from our neighbors, from their neighbors, uh, led by the Lectus Solus Zol Zos Galvus. My God, what mouthful! Legatus Solus Zos Galvus. They swiftly brought the other nations of Isbard to heal, and so the Legatus became the emperor and his Republican and Empire. An empire which then set the sights upon Eorzea. But the conquering emperor is now the old man of force. Who the hell are you? It's like, nobody ever gets to speak apart from the main dude. Right, anyway, but the emperor, the, the conquering emperor is now an old man of four score winters. His health is failing and he is no clear successor. Like has not this is why the Garleans have been quiet of late. Well done. Okay, but the uh, 14th Imperial Legion is entrenched within our borders, and their commander, Legatus Gaius van Belsar, has long harbored ambitions of conquest. Were he to strike now, I fear would fall like so many others before us. And not only Alda, but Grandia, Gradenia, <laughs> God's sake, I hate this one, Gradenia and Limsa Melimensa as well. For the calamity brought the lot of us to our knees, and we've yet to get up. We barely have the strength to stand against the beast tribes, never mind the primals they mean to summon. We are a realm divided adventure, an alliance in name only. Hmm. But the wolf cares not for the plight of its prey. The guardian stir and the elder seed seer would not let it go unnoticed. All other concerns pale in comparison to the Empire, even the beast tribes and their bloody primals. My god. Right. We must stand united once more. That much is clear, and if we to do so we must remember the cause which last brought us together. Marwil will have her memorial. We will honour the memory of the fallen. We will remind the people that their brothers and sisters fought and died for. It's your turn to run. Shall I inform the Sultana and the Syndicate? I will speak with Her Grace myself. Very good, sir. The Admiral will have my reply anon. My thanks to you, adventurer. And then, give me some stuff. Give me some, like, armor or whatever. Come on, don't be stingy, man. Hooray! I got a wind-up airship! Yay! That's kind of crap, because I'd rather have my Moogle. But anyway, experience and gill. It's complete. You can now make use of the airship routes connecting the three nations. Airship's now accessible. Before you board an airship, you must pay the requisite fee. Oh, what? Gonna charge me money now. Achievement unlocked. Leaving Limsa Limsa. Five. Yes. Yes, I got five. How, how do you have your achievements? Achievements, hey! There's a fucking achievement tab for it. Woo! Total points, 55. Check it out. I am... Doing stuff. Battle. Defeat of 100 enemies. Have I not done that yet? Or is that the one I have? No, I have done that. 
So I got you to defeat 500 and I defeated 300. Okay. What's the, what's the top? 100,000 enemies. Oh my god. Beatrice Crown. The hell? Paralysis, resistance, blind, sleep, silence, poison resistance. Hell yeah. Give me that. Is it is it actually visible in your head? Where does it go? I tell you where it goes. The reward titled the exterminator. You don't get in for that. You don't get in for that. You don't get in for that. And you don't get in for that. Joy. Let the bodies hit the floor. Bump on the log, gladiator. Master gladiator's ring. Holy crap. Complete all gladiator entries in the hunting log. Are you kidding me? You get vitality, parry, critical hit rate, and reduced durability loss. My god. It's a ring? That's pretty good. Right, anyway, that is that done. Quest complete. I am now free to do what I want, I guess. You will watch your tongue while... Oh, whatever. Shake face, mate. Right, so this is going to take me back. I kind of want to go do the one... I kind of want to go do quests around uh, that woman. Um, where the hell am I going? There's a lift over here. I've got a merchant strip. I think I'll go use the lift. There you go. So we're going to go back. How much gill have I got? Two and a half thousand gill. Uh, airship landing, yeah, please. Let's go. Da, 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 da. Let's see how much gill it costs to uh, use a airship. Hopefully, not too much. Hi there. Uh, Gardenia, please. 120 gill, that's not so bad. Nice and cheap. My personal uh, minion to fly me around. And away we go. Or shall I go back to... Um, the place I originally came from. Not entirely sure. Let's first of all get to Gardenia. And then uh, we'll have a look. a little drifter, eh? It's drifting in there. Right, so I'm here. Just run upstairs quick. And, uh... Let's have a look at a couple things. I want to get out of here because it's a bit noisy in here. Just go stand out in the rain. So, first things I want to be looking at. Character. There's a way to change classes. Oh, there you go. Classes. We've got armor, blacksmith, culinarian, arcanist. How about really? I can't quite remember how to change glasses. Just stick that right there. All right. Um, doesn't really let me select them here. Can't remember how to do it. 
Right, so get gear set list. Can I save this set? Or not? Uh, I did get a bit of... Uh, I got a new weapon, didn't I? Um, is it this one? No, nope, Dan. No, nope, no. Nope. The hell? Ah, that's what you do. You equip this to change your class. So I can change my class by going. Whoosh. But now I'm naked. Yay! Uh, so let's put the bronze war axe back on. Oh, and I'm still naked. The hell? That's why I need to learn how to. Ah, oh, there you go. Create a new gear set. Okay, so let's uh, let's find the best weapon he has here. We've got the spiked bronze labrys. Is that not the one I was using already? Yeah, I think it is. Um, but have I got one that's better than that? Nope. Right. So, with that being said, let's get uh, up to level. Um, when below level ten, I'm level fifteen. So that's can't be used. Strength and dexterity. Strength, dexterity, vitality, and accuracy. Or strength, dexterity. I don't. I'll go for accuracy and vitality. So that's got determination, dexterity. This has got dexterity and accuracy. For that. So I'm gonna go with this. On me, Ed. There you go. On me, Ed. I'm pretty sure you can hide this. So you don't see your headgear. Ah, there you go. Good stuff. Right, but I'll leave that on for now. Um, dun, 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 dun. Right, set two. Holy jeez. I'll have that. We'll just uh, move this over to the side here while we do this. Um, we got... What's this do? Reset display, toggle cart to display mode on and off, gamepad only. And draw seats west. Okay. So, I can kind of do that anyway, but I like looking at it in the big screen. Um, put a belt on. Got level 20 here. There we go. Uh, put some pants on, that would be nice. 32. Alright, got some pants on, I'm all red. Uh, what's this? Hands. Need hands. 10. Got two at level 10 actually, but this one's red in it, so I'll go for that. Blends in with the rest of it, kind of. Unless the hempy bracers are. Nope, definitely not. Right. Got the earring, we've already got the earrings on. Awesome. And, uh. What the hell? Accuracy and piercing resistance. Oh, no, that has actually taken the ring off. There we go. And the earring's still on, so that's good. Right, so we go here, we go boop. There we go. Um. If I wanna. Can I change this? I know I could change this one. Oh, right, it's already got that there. And if I drag this down here, there you go. Alright, I'm going to put that in the second bar actually. So I can just instantly change to this. There you go. 10. So is that like the level of my equipment or something? Level 10 equipment. Um, obviously I'm level 15, so that could probably be better. Right, so to set up the other one, we click here. Uh, take that off. Weapons cannot be unequipped. Okay, so you have to have something on of some sort. Right, we've got that on. What's this? That just means there's a, a set, an item set using that weapon there. So, head, right, can't use any of that. And he's under level 10, so I'll put that on. Uh, yeah, I'm going to turn his headgear off because we don't need to see that. Um, alright, let's get some body kit on, got 613, they're both the same, fits all fire resistance, that one doesn't have nothing, so I'm going to put this on, wow, 
Awesome, check you out, sporting it out, eh? Showing off your body and all that. Uh, he's got the gloves. <laughs> um, how the hell is this got fire resistance? Because there's nothing there, so it's resistant to fire. Uh, can't wear a belt, because just can't. This, he's got... Oh my god, this is like nothing. Oh, put it in the wrong one. There you go. He's literally wearing nothing, what the hell? What's he going, going swimming? Uh, what's this? Fire, fire resistance again. My god. Uh, nothing, nothing, nothing. Yep, got the earring on already. And... Why? Because I can't, I can't wear that at his level. So that's good. Right. Um, so what I can do now, I've got this, is uh, click this. And that now gives me this that I can swap into. By hello, changing my shortcut bar. Right, okay, so I need to do that. I need to reset up the minion guides again. Oh, there are my little minions. Actually, you know what? I only want Miggle. Miggle rocks. You rock, Miggies. And it was nice of that guy just to walk right through me as if I wasn't even there. And just stick that on there. Okay, right, so, just before we end this episode, I'm actually going to take a little run outside. What level am I? Uh, where does it show my level? Alright, ah, down at the bottom, very bottom, level 1. So this guy literally has no nothing. Deals damage, a potency of 80. So we'll go give this uh, little character a try. I'm now free to go do as I wish. There we go. Right, so here's some level one dudes. I'll just pick a fight with these guys. You ready? Yee! Wow. That takes a while. It's alright, because he's not doing much damage to me anyway. Oh my god, yeah. There we go. So that's like, I'm nearly like halfway to level, so I'm gonna level up to at least level 2 before the end is. I like how that just like, arched around the woods. That's pretty cool. And I don't think this guy can actually attack. He doesn't have any... He has to actually be casting. If he's not casting, he's not attacking. Unlike my other guy who uses a sword. Um, what the hell was that? Oh, that's me putting my big one. Long range, baby! Oh, big tree! I can kick his ass. There we go. You're going down, squirrel. Dead! Da, 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 da. Bio learned. What does this do? Deals unexpected damage over time. Excellent. So I can, I can cast a dot on these guys first, so let's get that ladybug. I've actually got a mission for that, have I? Why is it? Oh no, this is for the uh, like achievement type thing. So he's not going to attack it, so I'm going to get it. Here we go. Right, so I'm doing the damage over time while I'm casting this. And you're dead. Oh look, Dot almost killed him. And when I say Dot, I mean the damage over time is just easier to see. Dot. So we're going to cast this off on him. Damage over time will help you kill it a little bit faster. There we go. Almost dead, but like, oh, there you go. I didn't even have to do anything for that last bit. Uh, so we're gonna cast it again. I'm going for level three, man. All in one episode. It's gonna be a little bit longer this one. Uh, 
There we go. Excellent. Right, so just leveled up. Got the Arcanus level 3. Uh, but I just realized something that I've actually got the uh, wrong one on my toolbar. I don't need that one on this toolbar. I need this one on that toolbar. Because this will allow me to change back to the uh, mortar or whatever it is. So I think I actually completed that quest because it's got the little thing that's off them now. Um, I'll just continue to kill a few so I can get to level 3. Oh, I thought I've actually got to attack this guy. Now, mother trucker! Dead. That's it? Ah, oh, come on! It's like so near to level in there. Give me a good whacking, but still kicking your ass. Dead. Da, 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 da. Using actions from other classes. What? Right, so... Where's that? Character... Main menu? What? What are you saying? What are you saying? Right, the armory system is not only allows the freedom to change between classes, but also the ability to wield the spells and actions obtained through those classes. To make these actions accessible to your current class, start by opening character from the main menu, followed by action and trace. Where's that? Followed by... Actions and traits. There you go. Okay, and then go to the additional. Ah! So I can bring... Ah, I see! So I can bring one of these, or two... How many can I bring? Next, select the desired class under additional to display a list of the available actions. Highlight the checkbox will add the action to the list at the bottom of the actions and traits interface. Ah, so I've only got space for one here. So what's this? Increase defense by 20%, duration 20 seconds. Or it converts 25% of physical damage dealt into HP. I don't do physical damage so I need foresight. That'll give me a bit of extra defense. Good stuff. Oh, wait a minute. Is I not finished with that? Once here, I can drag it to my hotbar. Done. Awesome. Ready to use. At level 10, you will only be allowed a maximum of two additional actions. This number will increase every five levels. When additional actions are added to your hotbar, you will have to wait for the recast timer to expire before using them. Okay. Okay, I get it. So basically, I can use this for a means of stronger stuff. Are you about to message me? No, you're just about to fold your arms at me. Okay. Just going to stare at me. Yep. Just, <laughs> just looks like she's going to stare at me all day. She's going to heal me. Or she's going to teleport. No, she's going to teleport. Just stared at me, crossed her arms, and then buggered off. Good job. Ding. Right, so 120 XP just for that little fight now. What the hell was that? What the hell is that? That is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. And it's a player, so what the hell? Right. Anyway, can I um, find... I think uh, I'm generally going to make episodes a little bit longer um, in this game. Because it is an MMO. Uh, MMOs can be quite long. Lots of stuff to do, so... 
it's probably better that I cover as much as possible on a cannon in an episode. Right, there we go. Right, so one thing I learned from the previous area that I was in is that when you're in the city, there's lots of different professions to have. And obviously the city that I was in initially had a set professions that you could choose from. But now that I'm actually in a new city, I think I'll probably look at... Um, Oh wait, there's a, a new little character running about naked. You just got a bow and arrow and everything, so that's pretty cool. Right, so uh, I'm probably going to run back into the city and see if there's any more professions that I can take up. Um, as I'm not, I don't think I have all the professions from the first area I was in, but at least if I'm here, I can, I can get a few, and um, it gives me a bit of variance to work on, so I'm not just doing the same thing over and over again. Um, and obviously it gives, gives me different abilities to use here for level them up, so that'd be nice, that'd be nice, that'd be nice indeed. So obviously I got this uh, crystal, I'm attuned to this one here already. Uh, we're gonna... What's that saw thing, what's this? Ah, we've got Archer's Guild. Uh, any other? We've got Adventurers Guild? No, it's just... Adventurers just in general, isn't it? Um, that looks like they're all, all there is there. Conjurers Guild? That's down where the... Uh, I met that Conjurer anyway, so I might go down there and get whatever that is. Uh, Lancers Guild? What the hell? Lancer. Uh, right, let's go... I've got the save point for that already, so I can use the crystal, I'll get there and save some time. Um, hello, snowy snows. Snowy snows. All nice and white there, eh? I like it. Hence why I've got white hair as well. Nice, nice. Right, let's um, use this crystal. Uh, what? Register free destination. You must be using a security token. I have no idea what that means. Right, Ethernet. Uh, Conjurer's Guild, let's go. Because I already registered that. Good stuff! Okay, now I'm here. Uh, she doesn't want to give me anything. Nobody here wants to do anything with me. But, oh, what? What? Corio kitten! I want! Give me it! Oh, I want a. Uh, I want the kitten! Oh my god! Right, I'm gonna have to Google this afterwards. Because I want that kitten. That's fracking awesome, man. No! Corio kitten! Oh, that is awesome! I need to get myself one of those. Sorry, Moogie. You're awesome, but that Corio kitten is. Kick ass. Oh. oh, I forgot to check my fat Chocobo out. Damn. Hello. You've got some quests for me. But, uh, guild receptionist? Is that what I want? Guild master? Uh, let's talk to the receptionist first, see what she says. Uh, so you want to be a conjurer? Yes. Well, met adventurer, you come to still. Still Glade Fain, home of the Conjurer's Guild. We conjurers harness the power of earth, wind and water and abound it in nature and thereby weave spells of healing and protection. We ever do we seek the noble souls to initiate our mysteries. Might you be such a soul come to join the guild? Yes. Then allow me to provide you with the overview of what it is to be a conjurer. Con Conjury is the art of healing and purification. Its practitioner, uh, practitioners harness the power of nature and they might bring about change in the form of spells. P 
primitive magic such as once wrought uh, by individuals known as mages, meaning those with the ability to manipulate Aether has existed in the dawn of time. It is not until the five centuries ago the conjuring emerged from this shapeless algramation of spells and charms, an event which led to the founding of Gradenia. In those dark days the elementals would not suffer man's presence in the twelfth wood, forcing our forebears uh, to make their homes beneath the earth and great subterranean city of Gilmora. But the desire to settle the Twelves would continue to burn fiercely time and again they sought to curry the elemental's favour. Curry! Hmm! Yummy yummy curry! I like men and other creatures bound by temples of flesh, the elementals are beings of pure aether. Recognising this, the mages of Eld reasoned that their talent for etheric manipulation might allow them to commune with these their core enigmatic entities, okay? It took five long decades, but our forebears finally succeeded. They reward the elementals, permission to dwell on the Twelveswood. So it was to the nations of Gradenia was born. Since that time, the elementals have taught us to live as one with nature, speaking to all Gradenians through the he hearers, those mages who are able to commune with them and for their intimacy with the elementals and the hearers would go on to attain greater mastery over the forces of nature. Thus did they co conceive the art of conjury and that my most attentive listener is a brief history of the conjury. Fucking hell, that's a brief is it? Um, if you have a mind to walk our path, the wholeheartedly recommend you join our guild. It would be my pleasure to explain the initiation process for you. Pray speak with me again when you're ready. Right, well, gimme. Is your mind made up? Are you ready to join the Conjurer's Guild? Accept! And I get a weathered cane. Awesome. That is well, I shall introduce you to a Guildmaster, Brother Isumi Sian. Brother Yasumi Yan presides over the Conjurer's Guild even as he serves the nation as a hero. You will find him in the med meditation area within. Go to him and make known your desire to join the guild. Meditation area, eh? Oh wait, uh, did I get the Ken yet? Nope, didn't get the Ken yet. Need to speak to this dude. Looks like a kid, man. Greetings, adventurer. I'm told you wish to become a conjurer in the Steelgate Fane. You got horns, mate. I am Brother Isumi Yan, master of this guild. Before you formally set into our ranks, I would impart to you the principles of conjury. Pray attend me well. Conjure is an arcane art that takes life of the living from its domain. Its primary purpose is salving of hurts and granting of protection. Adventures such as yourself of stand upon the front lines of battle. Owing to this, you are like to find yourself in many situations wherein the capacity for healing would be adventurous. Uh, advantageous even. Uh, mind you, there is more to conjure than that. By harnessing the power of earth, wind and water, Conjurers are also capable of weaving spells that wreak havoc. In terms of sheer destruction of power, conjuring may pale in comparison to thaumaturgy, uh, but its cap uh, capacity to defend ones against aggressions more than compensates for the relative shortcoming. In mastering healing and purification, not only will you be able to mend wounds and purge afflictions, you will also be able to breed life back into the fallen. Ah! I can revive people. More than simply healers, yet not true dealers of destruction, conjurers realize their full potential when employing their powers to support others. This, my dear adventurer, is what it means to be one of us. Hmm, mayhap that was too much of a grasp on single hearing, but worry not, for the meaning of my words become clear to you in due time. Aye, you will come to understand the conjuring is not the sole province of the conjurer. 
should you wish to walk our path, I must needs ask you solemnly vow to embrace nature, to heed the will of elements, uh, and the twelves would alike. Can you make this vow? Yeah. Let's go for it. I need some clothes. I know your answer, ere your lips had parted, yet I'm no less pleased to hear it. By the power vested in me, I hereby name you the member of the Conjurer's Guild. If you would be be so kind to lend me your hunting log, I shall add to you the names of such creatures as would pose suitable challenge to a conjurer. And to mark this momentous occasion, I present to you this cane. Though it may be old and withered, it will serve you well to take your first steps upon the path of a conjurer. Take up your cane, Sakaku, present yourself to me once more! I would assign your first task as a conjurer of Stillgate Finn. Yay, get some experience. Right, conjurer unlocked. Uh, this means I need to change class now. So, let's... Uh, boink. Right, what's the best headgear I got? Oh, what, what was this again? Increase experience by 20%. Is this 20% as well? Oh, it is! Oh, holy crap, so I can look like a Moogle instead. Awesome. Yay! Right, got the Moogle thing. Uh, is this... The thing is, this has got fire resistance, man. Oh, although this has Spirit Bond 100%. This has got Spirit Bond 19%, whatever that means. Projectable, yes. Convertible, no. It's exactly the same. Right, so I think I'll just keep everything the same here. Uh, I still can't get on a belt, but what I can do is go in here, create a uh, new gear set. There you go. Uh, wait a minute, I'm already the conjurer, so don't put that there. Uh, put the arcane thing here, put the mortar here. Minion, get my Moogle, because the Moogle rocks. That's my Moogle here, yeah, that's my Moogle. And uh, we want the mount guide. Stick the fatty one there, stick the little runny one there. And there we go. And there you go, he's uh, ready to set quests again. However, um, we are going to end this episode for now. Uh, it's been quite a long one, like I say. MMOs are quite long, so it's probably best that I cover as much as possible I can in one episode, otherwise we're going to have about a million different series. So, uh, without further ado, I'm going to end this. Don't forget to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe if you haven't done so already. I am Sakaku, thank you all for watching, and ciao for now.